Hi guys, welcome back to Rose and Jones. It's lovely to have you here. Welcome to my little world of perfumes. Today I just fancy talking about the fragrances I've been enjoying and the fragrances that I'm looking forward to wearing for spring. And before I, we get into all that, obviously it wouldn't feel right to at least acknowledge everything that's going on in the world right now. It seems weird to start talking about perfumes and, and focusing on perfumes like there's something relevant in it. But to be honest, it's a lovely distraction. You know, the other side of the camera is obviously real life and this horrible pandemic is affecting everybody, whether they're um, directly infected or whether they know somebody that's infected or whether they're just struggling to get food supplies. Um, one way or another, everyone is affected by it and it's a, it's a horrible time, it's a scary time. And certainly on my side of the camera here, it's a very stressful time. I, I can't stop work. I have to carry on. In fact, my work is medical industry related and it's um, it's pretty manic. It's pretty stressful. It um, doesn't stop and it's very real. So really me talking about perfumes is a lovely distraction. It's a lovely escapism. And I enjoy talking about them and showing you my perfumes as much as I hope that you enjoy listening to them and listening to me discuss them. It's just a distraction and I hope it's enjoyable for all of you as well. I hope you're watching, you're all safe and well, you're all being sensible with your, you know, your cleanliness and your distance. Um, people tend to make fun out of me because I'm quite a uh, self-isolated person and they are telling me, yes Liz, you've, you've been preparing for this your whole life because I'm quite a sort of standoffish sort of person anyway. But jokes aside, it is a... It's a horrible thing. Actually, I've just been to the co-op to get some supplies. I managed to get my toilet rolls. I managed to get some kitchen roll. I got some, what did I get, mayonnaise, um, all the little things that you think you can get most of the time are now sold out. But most importantly, I got a bottle of Jack Daniels. So I'm well happy with that. I also got a tub of ice cream. I don't even eat ice cream. I literally never eat ice cream. And I saw it and I thought, oh, I really fancy that. And it's, has anyone had this? Oh my god, it's absolutely delicious. I've literally finished the tub. I don't know why I'm even admitting to this. This is terrible. And I'm lactose intolerant. Good job I got my toilet rolls, wasn't it? But I wish you all well at this difficult time and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's just get into it. So I'm going to start with these first four fragrances that I've lined up here. These four I've been wearing in a rotation for the last sort of, two weeks or so. Um, and they all share something similar. And what they share is a very sort of sharp, abrasive, kind of really invigorating, um, just a refreshing quality, almost sort of astringent like in the opening. And for whatever reason, I'm guessing really it's just because of what's happening in the world, it's, it's this sort of oppressive, regardless of the season, regardless of the temperature, this whole oppressive atmosphere. And that's not just um, What's, what this disease is, is doing to everything and, and, and all the panic. It's not even just that. I've had other things going on that's caused me a hell of a lot of stress. And I've just been fancying fragrances that just completely lift my senses, like having a cold shower, like having a slap in the face. <laughs> a, a fragrance that would do that, that would just pull you out of whatever kind of misery or um, slump that you're in. Something that's just... just completely sharpens your senses and these first four have really been doing that for me um this first one I actually only got this um well it was about about two weeks ago actually I got this I got a little sample of this and I was really enjoying it and I figured I would try and get a, a bottle of this on eBay good old eBay I'm, I know I'm obsessed with eBay but I do get some cracking good deals on there and somebody was selling this 100 ml bottle of uh, it's English oak and hazelnut from Jo Malone and it's such a beautiful fragrance it's really, um, it's invigorating. It really is. It's sharp. I love the, there's a, there's a lovely creamy cedar base in here. And I love the woodsy element to this. So it's very, very few notes. I think it is literally three notes of hazelnut, English oak and cedar. And it's so simple, but it has a beautiful scent. The hazelnut is very, very sweet, but there's also something kind of sour maybe, or even I dare to say aftershavey, you know? Like that kind of barbershop fougere. I'm not even going to pretend to say that I know all about fougeres. I'm just, I've never really smelt one and been told it's a fougere. But get, I get an idea of what that kind of scent is like. And this to me, I think it's going in that direction, but it's not a heavy masculine scent at all. It's just a very simple, typical Jo Malone, simple, um, 
easy to wear just it has a lovely character though it really makes me feel like i'm you know i'm walking through a lovely english woodland with just nuts all over the ground and you've got all those lovely outdoory kind of scents but there's that lovely sharpness as if it was a crisp day it's just turned spring but it's a really cold but really sunny day it's very sharp and crisp this is this kind of scent it really does sort of enhance that feeling and I'm really enjoying this right now. And again, because like I say, it sharpens the senses and it kind of wakes you up. I think it's just a beautiful fragrance for now. So next up is Black Rain by Renier. Now, if you've watched my channel, you know how much I love this fragrance. It's actually, I've actually been wearing this today. Oh, it's so sharp and lovely. The opening is so, so bright and sharp and sour. And it's... It can be, I think it's a polarising opening. It really is. I've grown to love it so much that I now, that's what I want. When I reach for it, I want that real burst of sharpness in my face. You know, I really want that. It wakes me up in the morning. And I love how this develops through the day. As I've, as I've said before with this fragrance, it's got the most beautiful leather note. It's got a beautiful violet note. There's ambergris at the base. There's uh, white florals in the base. There's so much development in this fragrance and i love the story that it, it it gives me through the whole wear from the start to the finish it's a whole beautiful story and i love how it softens as it as it sort of wears down but i love the violet in here but i still always get that lovely sour sharp quality uh scent and it's perfect for what i've just described as being slightly astringent waking up your senses feeling invigorated it's such a beautiful scent and I'm really thinking of getting a backup bottle of this because if they do discontinue this, I don't, I, I, I will genuinely, it worries me. That's how much I love it. And right now and how I'm feeling now, this has become a very important scent for me and it's really become my sort of feel good tonic. So love Black Rain, Black Rain by Renier. So next we have a Roger Parfum so excited to get this I had a tiny little sample of this it's called um a midsummer dream and i think it's written on the back of the box where is it yeah midsummer dream eau de parfum i'd love a bottle of this i really would it's so beautiful and this is the only roger roger dove i've ever smelt so far and i'm i'm loving it absolutely loving it i i dare not even think about trying more because i'm probably going to love them and I just, <laughs> I think I've overspent my budget for the year already. Again, it's a sharp, beautiful, it's citrusy, a citrusy opening, but it's not a typical citrusy opening. What I get from this is almost like a ginger nuance. What it has in the beginning is um, grapefruit, I can't remember the notes, something called LME or LMI, which is a, a lemony resin, is that right? It's something I've not heard before, but I looked it up and it's like a resin, but it smells very sharp and lemony. Um, and all the notes in here create this beautiful fizzy ginger. Oh, it's so uplifting. It's such an uplifting fragrance. It's the dry down in here. You've got a beautiful orris root and there's carrot seed. And that gives you that kind of um, earthy, dense, but also creamy aspect. It's a hard one for me to describe, but it's incredibly addictive. The way that I find ambergris addictive with that sweet and sour weirdness, that's kind of what this has got in the form of orris fruit and carrot seed. And it's got everything I love in a fragrance. The development, the sort of the opening to dry down is very, um, uh, what do you want to call it? Like a juxtaposition that sort of meets in the middle. And it really does smell like quality. It's so beautiful. I've got no doubt I'm going to get through this 7.5ml decan. And this was expensive just for 7.5ml. Um, it was £35. But it's worth it because of how much I love it. And maybe one day I'll get a bottle. And the fact that it's a Midsummer Dream, one of my favourite plays from Shakespeare, it just adds to the whole thing. So that is Midsummer Dream by Roger Dove. And another beautiful, fresh, sharp, invigorating fragrance is Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. This is a rose, carnation and mint fragrance. This is a very, very bright. It's very fresh. It's very green. And this is one that I enjoy very much, not particularly in the high summer heat. I do, although this is one that would be perfect for the summer because of its, you know, it cuts through all the, all the heaviness and, and, and the 
that kind of heat i can't personally wear it in the heat because i get headaches easily and it's just got a very strong slightly aldehyde um soapy quality which i think it's just what kind of messes my head up when it's too hot however this side of summer and the other side of summer when we get into autumn that's the times that i tend to reach for this the other morning well it wasn't actually morning it was the other evening i should say i was up really late feeling a bit groggy before i went to bed I reached for this fragrance, which I've never done before, ever. I usually reach for like, you know, comforting, cozy, gourmandish fragrances. But I, I just saw this in my cupboard and I thought, really fancy a bit of that. So I just picked it up and completely covered myself in it and went to sleep feeling really gorgeous and really clean and just fresh and happy. So yeah, that's Balenciaga. That is Flora Botanica. Actually, along the same lines, I nearly forgot to mention this one. Um, this is from my last haul. This is Sage Spell by Vixen and Rolf. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've had this in my possibly sell pile. I've got a little, I have a little area where I put perfumes that I'm not sure I want to keep. It, I wore it for a few evenings and I thought, oh, do you know, I don't know if I actually do need this fragrance. And I don't like keeping things I'm not sure if I'm going to love. And I started wearing this one a few evenings ago and I thought, yeah, I actually really do like this. What I wasn't sure about in this was there's quite a sort of cucumbery cologne is sort of esque thing going on, which I wasn't sure I was going to love. What's changed my mind on this is the fact that I'm enjoying it now and and it's doing what it's supposed to do now, which is to invigorate the senses and to make me feel clean and fresh. And it is doing that and I'm actually really enjoying it. So it's been saved <laughs> basically and i am enjoying it it's got a slightly fizzy quality perhaps i think the reason i like it is because it's got that slight saginess and it takes it into a slightly different direction opposed to your typical citrus scent i'm enjoying it for now i've just realized i've got completely the wrong sample <laughs> this has been sitting here loon for lean this is the one i wanted they look exactly the same because they're from the same uh, sample company anyway this is lavender illusion and on my last video, I think it was the last one, I mentioned that I tried this along with another one and I wasn't bothered about it. Turns out I actually really do love it. I don't know what made me change my mind. I wrote this off when I first smelt it as being very simple, a bit boring maybe, um, just uninspiring. I was confused. I think I was trying to look for too much lavender, which it hasn't got a lot of. It's not a heavy lavender. It's a lavender mixed with black currant and other things and the, the combination of the two notes and other all the other notes create this very fresh very um sort of purple berry smelling and purple flower smelling very light and airy but very enjoyable i love lavender in the spring so this is now on my wish list so we've got some other fragrances mostly my spring fragrances um i won't go too far into this one because i talk about it so often it's a lalisa lempica eau de toilette it's a beautiful lavender, lavender? <laughs> it's my beautiful violet, woody, slightly spicy, very green, slightly face cream smelling, easy one to wear, perfect for spring. It's such an easy light fragrance. Stella McCartney Bluebell Pop, again, another easy fragrance to wear. This one's much more floral, much sort of softer and prettier. Yeah, it's so pretty. It really reminds me of something I used to wear when I was a little girl that was bluebell scented. It could have been just a soap or even maybe a shampoo or something. But it's very soft and it really is a lovely fragrance. And it's just absolutely perfect for spring. It's absolutely beautiful and very in very inexpensive. So recommend that one. Um, next up we have Josita. Now this is a beautiful fragrance, beautiful quality fragrance. This is an iris violet, um, orris fruit, ambergris, lots of other notes as well. I enjoy this one in spring and I enjoy it in autumn and maybe slightly winter, but not really. I think it's definitely a sort of spring autumn one. It's a very unsweetened, natural iris and violet. There's a sort of woody element to it. Slightly too dense for summer. I think it's it's too slightly too heavy or too powdery. But I think because it gives you that lovely, authentic, outdoorsy, natural smell, I think that's the kind of thing you want in spring. You know, it's very authentic and really beautiful. So this is one I will most likely be wearing a lot this spring. So next we have my beloved Confessions of a Garden Gnome. But I'm showing it with Lucky by Kristen Dior because I often wear these together. So this fragrance is Lily, Lily of the Valley. There's Ambergris. I always forget all the notes and yet I've 
probably talked about them so often I just can't go blank when I have to mention anything other than those first three. This is such a special fragrance to me that I don't reach for it very often. It's a, I think it's a 50 mil. They only come in 50 mil. I love wearing it. I love where it takes me, but I'm scared to use it because it's just too special. Although of course I'm sure I'll buy another one once it's run out. With Lucky by Christian Dior, this is their Privé or it's, I think it's now called Maison Dior. Um, this is a lily of the valley. This is just completely lily of the valley. It's ethereal, watery, very, very pretty, very delicate. With with that Dior, there's something about Dior. You get there's something that they all share, a very slight DNA that they all share, and it, this is what this is as well. Um, it's very, very pretty. But I like to layer this because it, it sort of lightens this one, and it creates a whole nother fragrance it just brings out that beautiful lily of the valley even more now lucky uh, from what i understand christian dior quite a superstitious person he used to tie a sprig of lily of the valley to his runway models in like part of their clothing and that was his sign for luck that was his little flower for luck so this fragrance was um dedicated to that story i guess and that's why it's called lucky and that is why it smells of lily of the valley perfect perfect fragrance for spring it's invigorating it's got enough lift and sharpness that it's um quite fr refreshing but it's very delicate and very green as well so for me this is a bit of magic a bit of escapism on what has basically been quite heavy and somber days so that's my very special combination of fragrances confessions of a garden gnome and lucky this is such a pretty little fragrance, this really is, and it's been discontinued, but I think you can still buy these on eBay or other places. However, one thing you can't do is buy them with a normal clear green juice. I keep mine in the box because they are discol discolouring. should have a really pretty green juice, but unfortunately that's just, it. They just won't, you won't have that now. They've discontinued, I think, about maybe a year and a half ago, and they were just, they were discolouring at that time. So it's hard to find one even this clear. I love, I love what this scent gives you. It's basically a, a vanilla, a green almond, and orange blossom scent. I love the combination of... The green almond and the orange blossom in here it is blended so beautifully. Oh, what? There's a beautiful sweetness from the vanilla. It's a very creamy vanilla. And it just reminds me of being in Italy because I wore this when um I was in Italy last summer, last spring, sorry, for a wedding. And I this was my sort of scent of the entire holiday. And it just, to me, is Italy now. It's an Italian wedding. So next is a fragrance that is actually new. And it's kind of similar to this scent not the same but it's in the same region i guess it's giving you a similar thing so the last self-indulgent little splurge i had was buying myself a full bottle of the maison lancome figs and agumes and now i don't know if i'm pronouncing that properly i believe that means figs and citrus please ignore my or forgive my ignorance if i'm completely wrong on that second word um certainly we're focusing on the fig here this is a beautiful fig fragrance now i do love this line i love this maison lancome line i think they are all stunning absolutely stunning i'm not a typical fruity f i don't like fruits generally in fragrance it's not my favorite but there's an exception every now and again and i certainly love figs and this is a creamy fig and citrus scent i got a sample i fell in love with it I've always been captivated by the colour and the actual design of the bottle. I think it's the most beautiful bottle of the whole line. It's so exquisitely done. It's so beautiful. It's, it's even more beautiful in life. It really is. It's a beautiful... I've got huge hands, by the way. But this is a huge, heavy, quality, heavy bottle with the classic magnetic cap, of course. I bought this direct from Lancome. While I'm talking about this line, this, this Lancome, just a quick shout out to my new beautiful french friend over at fragrance friend over at the uh, olfactive stories check out her channel i'll try and link it but i've mentioned before i'm absolutely useless at linking things on my channel um but she sent me some samples two of which were the maison lancome line she sent me these thank you so much for these really enjoyed uh, playing around and smelling these all really beautiful the pivone i think that is peony that is really really pretty as well let's talk about how this one actually smells creamy elegant luxurious 
classy. I love how the fig in here is salty. It's it's very, very salty. It's not too heavy. Um, it is melding really beautifully with the citruses. And there's also white flowers and specifically jasmine. All three notes are blended to perfection. So happy to have this. And it is absolutely beautiful. I love looking at it in my collection as well. So that is my fig and agum from Maison Lancome absolutely stunning so i'm going to end this video on a completely random fragrance it's not one you'd look at and go oh yeah delicate and spring-like makes me feel like a kid it literally does it's like if you've been say if you're a kid that's not been feeling well and you know you're starting to feel better and your mum gives you ice cream or i don't know lets you have sweets and you feel so comforted this is what this scent is like for me it's so sweet so enjoyably comforting as well it's got that lovely lavender note, which perhaps is why I'm enjoying it now, because I think of lavender in the spring, I don't know. Um, the lavender isn't particularly strong in here, but I think it mingles with the coconut. I think it's the whipped cream and the sweetness and that whole combination of coconut and, and lavender and all those things and the praline. It is a gourmand, but it's not a typical gourmand. It's, it leans cold. It's like a, It's like a cold dessert and it's comforting and it's perfect for how I feel at the moment. I think this scent is like the equivalent of comfort eating, you know, it's a guilty pleasure and that is why I've been enjoying it a lot recently. So yeah, this is Cloud by Ariana Grande. Absolutely love this fragrance. And that's quite a nice sort of comforting sweet note to leave you on. I wish you all well, I wish you all good health. I hope you're all able to get the things that you need. Please take care and I'll see you again on my next one. Bye bye.